2015 is winding down rapidly. In fact, this is the last of these video conversations we'll have this year. We'll take a holiday break. Next time we're back in the Capital Journal Daybreak newsletter video, it'll be uh, after the first of the year. We'll finally be in 2016, that election year we've been talking about for so long. As we head there, there are three thoughts that occurred to me that are worth keeping in mind now, and more so keeping in mind when we roll into 2016, and actual voting in Iowa, New Hampshire, and elsewhere uh, is just around the corner. Thought number one is remember that Iowa is different. Iowa is an interesting place and an important place, but it hasn't been a great indicator of national political trends in the last few cycles. Rick Santorum won the Iowa caucuses. Mike Huckabee won the Iowa caucuses. They didn't go very far nationally. So Iowa's interesting. It hasn't been a great indicator lately. Secondly, New Hampshire, which is next up in the calendar, is a place that loves comeback stories. Ask John McCain on the Republican side and Bill Clinton on the Democratic side what doing well in New Hampshire did for their campaigns, and think about what Jeb Bush and Chris Christie, among others, hope New Hampshire can do for them. And third and final thought, it's important to know what Bernie Sanders' strategy is as we head into 2016. In other words, does he want to hang in there for a long time, even if it doesn't look as if he can beat Hillary Clinton, just to make the point? Or is he willing to go for a while, see how he does, and if he's not uh, doing well, does he back off and let her move to the nomination, make life easier for her campaign and the Democratic Party? It doesn't seem like an important question now, but it would be uh, an important question uh, for the Clinton campaign in particular as 2016 unfolds. Meanwhile, we hope you all have happy holidays. We'll be back to talk more after January 1st.